Hi, I'm Candy Cooper for Plaid Enterprises, and in this video, I'm going to show you the basic techniques for jewelry making. All you're going to need are a few tools, some beads, maybe some pendants, and some findings, and I'll have you making jewelry in minutes. Let's go do it. The first thing you're going to need are some jewelry making pliers. And when it comes to pliers, you're just going to look for something that feels comfortable in your hand, and then you'll want to make sure that you grab a set of chain nose, flat nose, round nose, some wire cutters, and if you want to string some beads, some crimping pliers. Plaid has a ton of fun jewelry findings and components that you can use in your designs. Just pick some that suit your style. The first project we're going to make is a simple pair of earrings, and I'm going to show you how to open and close an ear wire. And we're going to grab our chain nose pliers, and we're just going to open the ear wire from side to side and then attach your loop on your dangle here and then just close the wire. I'm going to add a little sparkle by just dipping at the end of a paintbrush in Mod Podge, putting a dot down right there and using this tool to pick up my crystal and drop it into place. Let's add a couple more here. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to open and close a jump ring while making a cute little necklace. Since these are so tiny, I've actually cut up a bangle to make a jumbo jump ring just to show you how to open and close it. So when you go to open a jump ring, you're going to put the opening at 12 o'clock and then you're going to use your pliers to grab it on both sides and twist it from side to side. Connect your component and then close the ring. If you have a ring that's kind of being stubborn with a tiny, tiny little gap, just twist it open again, push it past the point of center, then snap it back into place. And now I've connected both ends of chain. We're going to come over here, connect one end of our finding, and then use your tools to close the loop. If you want to make a bracelet like this, you're going to need some head pins and some eye pins. I've got some head pins right here and some eye pins here. The eye pins are great for connecting charms like this. You just open them just like you did the ear wire from side to side. Then if you want to make a wrapped dangle like this, all you're going to do is string your bead onto the wire and you can do whatever you want. You just want to leave about a finger's width at the end, maybe a little bit more. This one I have plenty. And then you're going to grab the end and this time we're using our round nose pliers and make a bend just above the bead, leaving a little bit of space. Then we're gonna come in to that little crook in the bend and wrap the wire up over the top. And that forms a perfect start to my loop. Then you're gonna put the bottom jaw of the plier back in, take the wire across, and then just start wrapping it around. You're home free from here on out and you can make really clean, perfect loops, or you can do um, messy loops like I do. Perfect. And then just use your wire cutters to trim the end. Okay, now let's make a simple loop. So just slide your beads on, then make a bend just above the bead. Trim it to about 3 8 inch, then use your round nose pliers, grab the end of the wire, and roll that end on around. And I'm kind of pushing back as I do, and then just tuck the end of the wire right in place. Let's talk about bead stringing. So I've gone ahead and picked out a couple of select strands and a focal pendant and started stringing them onto beading wire. You can find beading wire in the beading section of the craft store. Now the next thing I did is just laid out a pattern and then strung them into place. And I'm using this Inspired Classics Monarch Butterfly Pendant. I love it. So now it's time to secure the end of the wire to the end of my chain here to finish off my necklace. And you're going to need some crimp beads to do this. So back to one of my jumbo examples here so that you can see really clearly what we're going to try to go for. I've got 
let's say this is the end of my necklace and I want to secure my strand of beads here. You put your crimp bead into place and slide it up next to your ring or your clasp or whatever. Make sure there's plenty of room here and then on the inside of your crimping pliers you're going to notice that there are two openings. The one inside of the jaw makes a U-shape and the one towards the outside um, is a more rounder, almost like an eye shape. So we're gonna first put our crimp tube into the inner opening of the crimping plier. And we're just gonna smush that down and that's gonna give us our U shape. Then we're going to turn it and put it into the eye shape like this and you're gonna fold it on over. So I'm adding a crimp bead to the end of my wire and then string the end of your necklace chain put the wire the tail of the wire back through your crimp tube and slide it up near the end of your chain now we're gonna grab our crimping pliers and remember to Put it into that back slot and try to keep your wire separated while it smushes into that U shape. Then we're going to turn it 90 degrees and fold it on over. And I've got a necklace that's ready to wear. I love it. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to make a beaded bale and how to flat crimp. And I just strung them on the beading wire along with the pendant. Then I grabbed a crimp bead and passed the wires through. And when you pull out the slack, it creates a loop. Now to secure the crimp bead, you can crimp it traditionally like I just showed you, or you can go in with your chain nose pliers and just smush it down. And that gives you a nice flat connection. Now I've got a cute little pendant and I went ahead and prepped a chain here. It's a fun, easy gift that you can make. So you can see Plaid makes it easy to make earrings, necklaces, bracelets, and more really easy with their line. You can literally make jewelry in minutes. I'm Candy Cooper. I'll see you next time. <laughs>